for Husker Countdown, I'm Zach Penrice. When Scott Frost was hired as Nebraska's head football coach on December 2nd of this past year, it meant a lot of new was coming to Nebraska. The former Husker quarterback talked about bringing Nebraska back to its former glory in his inaugural press conference with hard work and determination. In the years that Nebraska was winning championships, they were known for their defense. In 1997, Frost led the Huskers to their third national championship in four years. Often forgotten, however, was the defense on the 97 team that smothered Peyton Manning in Tennessee in the Orange Bowl. Manning running out of time, he's sacked by Mike Rucker. The first sack of Manning tonight. The career-ending victory. Only fitting that it would end with a victory and perhaps a national championship for Tom Osborne. Head coach Tom Osborne retired after that season, leaving the Huskers without their legendary head man. Since that year, they haven't gotten back to the height of national relevance, although they've had some outstanding defenses. Perhaps none better than the 2009 defense, a team that was led by Indomitian and Sue. The Blackshirts only allowed 144 points all season and held opponents to under 10 points in half of their games. And McCoy back, going to throw, and he is thrown down by Indomitian Sue. Indomitian is dominating. Wow. In recent years, things have gone from bad to worse. In the three seasons under Mike Riley, the Huskers defense averaged 29 points allowed per game, including only three total games in which the defense held opponents to under 10 points. Compare that to the 94, 95, and 97 national championship teams that averaged only 14 points allowed per game. The most points the Blackshirts allowed in any game during those title years was 38 against Missouri in an overtime game. Over the last three years, however, the Huskers have allowed 38 points or more 13 times. Somebody's got to make a play for the, for the Blackshirts. Taylor again. Taylor fighting. Taylor dragging into the end zone for the touchdown. Barrett out of the shotgun, gets the snap, looking to his left. Got his man, completed the five. Into the end zone, he goes. Touchdown, Ohio State again. And it's another Ohio State touchdown. JT Barrett's fourth of the night. It's 48-7. Rodney Smith goes 90. Another touchdown for Iowa. Is there any more that were more running backs for Iowa that need a touchdown on the afternoon? They have <laughs> they, four. Right? They have four exactly. now. Luckily for Husker fans, they have reason to believe that those days are behind them. With new defensive coordinator Eric Shenander, the Blackshirts might just find their way back to national relevance. Shenander has been noted for his hard-nosed demeanor and being a tough man to please. There's not really a, a depth chart jumping out of me yet. To be honest with you, somebody asked me the other day, who's the guys that are really playing good? Nobody. Everybody got to improve. Okay? There's some guys that are they're playing okay, but we, we got to get better all across the board. So um, I'm not ready to say that anybody's taken a job yet, anybody's stuck out yet, because we all need to get better right now. Nobody's been good enough. I, I wouldn't say right now we have a bell cow, we have a guy we can rally around. We don't have a guy on the field yet that we can rally around. The leading returner for the Blackshirts is senior Dedrick Young, who recorded 80 total tackles in 2017. Young is enjoying the new fast-paced practice style that the new coaching staff has brought to Lincoln. i say the pace is probably completely different than we're used to just because it's fast all practices, you know, not just slowing down and going fast, so I think it's completely different than last year. One of the early problems with the new regime has been leadership. Shenander has been looking for his, quote, bell cow to lead his defense, but Scott Frost sees the issue across the board. We got a long way to go with leadership. I'm not sure leadership was developed really well here. Uh, we got some guys that are capable of doing it. We just need to create opportunities for them to be leaders and let them take the ball and go with it. Once the team is holding each other accountable and the, and the coaches don't have to do it, you have a powerful team. For Shenander, he is just excited to get onto the field on Saturday, not only to get a more clear vision of his depth chart, but to see what Husker Nation is all about. I think any time you get to, to run out of that tunnel and, and, and see the awesome fans we have and you know play in front of 91,000 plus people and hear the crowd I think that's very cool and I think they're they're ready for that I'll, I'll be like one of those kids that's never that's never been run out of the tunnel before taking a meaningful rep you know what I mean I, I'll, I'm fired up to run out of that thing and hear the crowd and, and see this see this stadium I mean I'm, I'm the most excited one to do it when Scott Frost was hired on December 2nd of this past year it meant a lot of new was coming to Nebraska perhaps what he and his staff plan to bring isn't really new at all Maybe all they need to do is restore the black shirts to their former glory. After all, defense wins championships. For Husker Countdown, I'm Zach Penrice.